hi guys this is kevin academy so welcome back to another video in this video i will be discussing about the live load on highway bridges so in my previous video on this channel i talk about the different kind of loadings that we have on highway bridges i talk about the dead load the superimposed dead load the traffic load and other secondary loadings so you can check the you can see the video at the top right corner of this video or you can check the description of this video to actually watch them but today i will be giving more detail about the live load on bridges we all know what live load of bridges are if you don't know you can check my previous video so live load on bridges are also known as the traffic loading and they can be categorized into two parts actually it's more than two but the general one that is used in design is two so, but in this video, I'll be using the BS code, which I've discussed in my previous video, BD3701, for the specification on the live load. So, we all know that the live load is divided into two. We have the HA load and the HP load. So, I've already defined this for you in the previous video. So, the HA load, to say it once again, are the load that represent the normal traffic on a highway bridge. But HB loads are loads that represent abnormal traffic on highway bridges. So, for you to load your bridge, one of the most difficult part of bridge design is the loadings. Because the loading is not like other kind of structures. The loading is a little bit much more technical. So, in my, in my previous video, I've explained to you how to determine the dead load and the superimposed dead load. But I want to make video on the live loading. So that is why we are in this. So if you like what I'm showing you, you can hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification. I'm sure you are going to learn from this. So the HA loading is actually divided into two. In this video, I'll be talking much more on the HA loading. So because there is no highway bridge that you will not apply an HA load. Sometimes the HB loading might not be necessary. Depend on the kind of analysis and the kind of bridge you are trying to design. So the HA loading is divided into two. We have the HAUDL and we have the HAKEL. Both of these loads are actually applied together, but they are different. Even though both of them try to represent the effect of traffic on the highway. So let's talk about HAUDL. HAUDL is just like a normally a normal UDL and it's a uni uniformly distributed load that is applied across the deck of the bridge but it is not really across the whole depth of the bridge you have to apply it across the national lane you know in my previous video I told you that one of the most important terminologies that we use in bridge loading is national lanes because if you understand national lanes it is the national lanes that we apply most of our loadings so HAUDL is actually applied across the national lane. You can see this is an example of a bridge deck and you have a UDL load. You have a UDL load be applied across some part of the bridge. So this is a typical example of a HAUDL load. So how do you now determine HAUDL? HAUDL is actually given by this formula. W equals 336 in 1 over L is power 0 0.67 the value of l is actually represented what does l represent l is the length of the loaded is the loaded length of the bridge so let's say for example your bridge is three meter by eight meters for example the eight meters is the longitudinal span of the bridge so that that span of the bridge of eight meters is going to be the loaded length because that is where the traffic is going to be passing across longitudinally but you know your national lane the width of your national lane is along the transverse direction i hope you understand that so that will just be all you just need to determine your HAUDL is the value of your loaded length, which is the span of your bridge. And this formula actually applies when the span of your bridge is less than 50 meters. So when the span of your bridge is between, is less than or equals to 50 meters, then you can apply this formula. But we, have, we also have another formula that is applied when the length of your bridge is between 50 meters and 1.5 kilometers so between 50 meters and 1600 meters this is the value that is represent that is represented by the bs code or bd 3701 that you are supposed to use for your haudl 
so the application of haudl is simple you just once you have div divide your bridge deck into national links depending on the width of the the cross section of your bridge deck so that will tell you the number of national lane that you you apply so to apply this national lane most of the time when you have when you don't have more than two national lane you just apply the haudl across the two national lane but when you have more than two then there are other ways in which the code specify that you can apply it you can check bd3701 for more details about that so then another important part that also goes with the haudl but whenever your loaded length is more than 1.6 kilometers how do you now determine the value of w actually the value of w is actually gotten from what we call the haudl intensity curve and that is where we get these formulas but when the length of your span or the loaded length of your bridge is more than this 1.6 meters then you have to find other ways that means you have to check literatures and look at what people have um what scholars have talked about it i hope you understand you know sometimes the code actually gives specification to some particular range but when your situation is more than that range then you have to consult other means like other more uh numerical means i hope you understand so let's now talk about the second part of the ha loading which is the hakel this one is actually a moving load, but it is actually a knife edge load. The meaning of KEL is knife edge, knife edge load. So it's applied like a line load across the bridge, the bridge deck. But it's not actually applied this at the particular point anyway, but you have to apply it. If you are using a design software, you have to apply it as a moving load so that it move along the deck. I hope you get you now will be the one to determine the the span of the movement or the number of um the number of occurrence that you want to have so the hakl load is a line load that is acting along the width of the national lane of the bridge so it is a movable load along the span and it is usually placed in position so as to cause the most adverse effects so what that means is, you know, I told you it's a moving load, but when you want to analyze your bridge, maybe you want to analyze it manually for, let's say, for example, you have to place it in the position that will give you the adverse effects. This is like you are dealing with influence line analysis. So you want, you analyze, this is when you are analyzing moving load. So it's taken as a moving load and the value is actually constant. The value is a uh, 120 kilo newton per width of national lane so that's the value of your h a k e l so you apply it 120 kilo newton per width of national lane as a moving load across the deck of the bridge but when you are designing about when you are designing the abutment of or the pierce of your of your bridge you have to apply the h a k e l at the top over the abutment at the top of the abutment but when you want to analyze the beam the beam the bridge beam you have to position it at the mid span of the beam you know most of the time when you are designing your bridge mostly the bridge is is designed in such a way that the beams are simply supported so when the beam are simply supported you know the adverse effect is going to in which a load can cause is when you place that load at the mid span of the beam so if you do that for kel load you are going to get the adverse effect in which is going to apply on the bridges so these are the two common ha loadings that are applied on bridges and i've told you there are two major traffic load the ha load and the hb load on every beach you must apply ha loading unless maybe there is no vehicular traffic using the bridge maybe you are designing a pedestrian bridge but if you are designing a bridge in which you have uh, vehicular traffic on it as live load then ha loading is very important and it is just to the haudl and the hakel to apply the haudl you need to divide your bridge deck into national lanes once you divide it into national lane you use the formula and then you get the w the w is the value of the load so you just apply it as a uniformly distributed load which is very simple 
Then the second one is the knife edge load. So this knife edge load is a moving load and it is applied across the length of the bridge, but the value is constant. It's 120 kilonewton per meter of national length. This is actually according to the British standard BD3701. But if you are using the Euro code, the specification given in the Euro code is a little bit different from this. If you want me to make video on it, you can comment, you can give me a comment in the section telling me to make a video on uh, HA loading or HB loading according to the Euro code. Don't forget to like this video. Make sure you subscribe. See you in the next time.